The generous new federal government battery rebate as well as several state-based rebates means it's a great time to consider getting a home battery. But there are so many options as you can see with these examples at the recent Smart Energy Council Expo. Which one should you choose? Well, as it turns out, I got a picture next to the three that I think are the best options. If you'd asked me late last year, I would have thought Tesla's probably going to be the best option for most people. They've dominated the market for so long, but they've been tailing off in popularity, even though they are very good if for people who do have Tesla cars and a Tesla EV charger. And that means you get a full integrated system that's really well working together. Unfortunately, Tesla missed the boat when it released the Powerwall 3. It didn't make it small modular stacks. They're big 13 and a half kilowatt stacks instead. And I think that the market has shifted. People want smaller three, five, eight kilowatt batteries that they can stack together and add to later not really big 13 and a half kilowatt ones, which you can add only another 13 and a half kilowatt one to later. I'm not saying that Tesla Powerwall 3 is bad. By no means is it bad. It's a well-respected brand of home battery in Australia and internationally. Just consider that if you buy it, you have to buy chunks of 13 and a half kilowatt batteries at a time. You can't buy smaller pieces to stack together so we've covered Tesla. Now, what are the three options that I'm considering for my own house? They're the SIG and Store SIG Energy battery stack, the SunGrow SBR battery stack, and the Anker Solix X1 battery stack. Please contribute. It really helps my independent, honest journalism. Until very recently, this SunGrow modular battery system was the most popular in Australia, but something's changed. There's a new competitor in town and they're selling a lot of batteries because their solution in terms of software and hardware is just streets ahead of SunGrow. So the SunGrow battery that I showed you just now needs a inverter, separate one, just like up there. But here's what the competitor has. This is the new player in town and they're making massive differences to solar battery sales in Australia. Sigan Store by SIG Energy has modular batteries as well, but the difference is the inverter is part of the stack and you can also get a DC fast charger as part of the stack, uh, 12 or 25 kilowatts, which is pretty impressive. And their software is updating all the time and adding lots of new features. It's really awesome and also has a gateway this is the SIG Energy Gateway, three phase. There's a different one for single phase households. Now I'll show you what I think are the disadvantages and the advantages of SunGrow versus SIG Energy. One is an older established platform. The software is not so exciting, but it's known to work. And we've known that it's lasted in Australian heat and cold for quite a few years now. This one is a lot newer internationally and in Australia. It is super popular and the software is far more advanced than SunGrow, but will it last as long in our tough environment? The third battery on my shortlist to install at my own house is the Anker Solix X1. As you can see, it looks very different to almost all the other modular battery stacks, which are usually white in color. The Anker Solix X1 is more of a metal gray and it has a built-in screen at the top as well, which you'll see momentarily. Its key selling points, as far as I can see, are better corrosion resistance than most other home batteries. It's only 15 centimeters deep, which makes it ideal for installing in narrow pathways where you still need to do a bin run and other daily tasks. And also, to the best of my knowledge, the Anker Solix X1 has the best range of battery temperatures that it works well optimally for batteries sold in Australia, from minus 20 Celsius to plus 55 Celsius. That covers anywhere from the snowy mountains to the top end of Australia. It will be very interesting to see if this battery sells well.
Thanks for liking, subscribing and sharing my videos. It really helps me make more videos like this for you. And have a look at the suggested videos up above. I'm pretty sure you'll like those as well. Thanks and see you later.